So this is like, this is just like new financial markets getting hustled. Yeah, the basically one person saw the efficiency and there was a bunch of people in crypto telling uh, Duquan that there was a way for people to basically break the peg and then therefore just unravel the entire ecosystem. Also, there's another thing on Luna called Anchor where basically if you take USDT and put in Anchor, they're giving you 20, 20% APY. Right. And so then people had their funds locked up in various places. And so then once you start shorting everything, people start freaking out and then not everything could get redeemed. And so then everything right. keeps unraveling. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is tanking. And then when Bitcoin is the macro mover of the market, it's a reserve of crypto. So what if Bitcoin's going down fast, everything else is going to, there's nothing else that's going to go fast and everything else is going to be way more volatile than it. Yeah. So Bitcoin dropped from 35K down to 27K, which is literally probably a few hundred billion dollars in a move just from Bitcoin and everything else is just immediate tanking. So, Hey Chris, can you Google total crypto market cap loss last three days or something like I that? I think it's close to a trillion dollars at this point. Holy close to God. a trillion. Yeah. So I saw, I saw a graph that, that showed the amount of capital lost, um, not just in crypto, but the stock market and everything over the last few months and it's about 16% of wealth destruction. This isn't including the real estate market. And when they went to the 08 crisis, that's at 19%. So we're getting close to... to 1.2 trillion is gone. So Chris just looked it up. Yeah. 1.2 trillion gone in... Uh, about in three, four days. Three, four days. Yeah. Holy it's uh, They said... People are saying it might have been... It might be the fastest capital destruction ever. In, yeah, because in, at least in 08, 09, you know, it was you could see the tidal wave coming, but it was kind of slow. And then, and then the banks had a bunch of parachutes they could pull to like, well, you can stay in your house and we won't foreclose it. And then there was this thing called mark to market where like overnight the government was going to do this thing where you had to drop the value of like your servicing portfolio and all the stuff that goes along with mortgage value. But it was a slow tidal wave. It wasn't like what you're describing as if 08, 09, 2010, 2011, if all the foreclosures in the United States hit in three days, that's mm -hmm. basically kind of what we just experienced. And I think we probably have, we're probably going to go lower. Um, crypto, because as we mentioned, is pegged to the mar stock market right now. This is also with a macro backdrop of uh, quantitative tightening. Uh, we have war going on. We might have a, a wheat famine across the across the, the world. Massive inflation pr Mass problem. Yeah, massive. In oh, that was the same day as the CPI print of eight percent. Like it's just like it literally could not be a worse situation. And although all this did happen, Bitcoin and Ethereum actually held up much better than I anticipated. And this the sent a shockwave, and I think it's going to be months to maybe even a year before all this gets settled out. Because from what I've been hearing, a lot of uh, funds and VCs have been wiped out. And even, like, they're saying people, things like uh, the Washington Redskins had money in there and, like, all yeah. these other companies. You think $40 billion, that's, like, that's no small amount of money. Right, right. And the thing that hurts is I think most people who end up getting caught up in it is retail because – they're like, oh, stablecoin, take stablecoin, put it into this anchor bank on Luna, get 20%, and they just don't understand what's happening. So it's just, there. there's literally, uh, if you go to the Luna Reddit subreddit, people are talking about the Frank committed suicide and like people lost $450,000. Mm. It's like, it's a really, really dark time. If you go in there, it's really, really grim. They have the suicide hotline posted and to the top and people just saying like, and this is the same thing that happened in the 2018 uh, crypto crash as well. But this is just much more wealth that's just been uh, evaporated.